Hello, it's me, Shauna. Today's soap making video is a collaboration video. The title of the collaboration is Spring Quartet. The requirements for this collaboration is four spring type colors and the soaping technique has to be one pot wonder, which is something I have never done before. This is brand new to me. I'm gonna stick with a fragrance oil that I already have had experience with, Love Spell. I figured it would be the wisest choice to choose a fragrance that I know how it behaves. The colors that I'm going with are Liquid Sun, Papaya, Green Pearl, and Mint. The extra ingredients that I'll be adding along with the soap batter, coconut milk, sugar, and kale and clay, as well as sodium lactate and Tessa silk fibers. So now we're off to go make this soap and if you can find it in your heart, please subscribe. This is a brand new soap channel. What you're looking at is my melted hard oils and we're gonna add in soft oils. Then we're gonna go ahead and add in our concoction of fragrance oil, coconut milk, kale and clay, powdered sugar, sodium lactate. And we will stick blend all this into our oils. Now we'll add our lye water, which has our Tessa silk fibers in it and dissolved and let's stick blend. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, I've already got our micas dispersed in some oil. This is oil from the recipe, it's not extra oil. So, and our green and our yellow. All right, we are going to try to evenly add soap to these. Okay. Now stick blend for assurance of good mixture. Okay, now we'll fill our bowl. I'm gonna do it from the side here. First of all, you can just pour in your first color. Now I'm supposed to pour the next color so slow that it sits on top. And I'm going to scrape all of this one into here. We're slowly starting to thicken up here, so we're going to move right along with our green. Whoops. This doesn't pour as nicely. And this one I'm not going to scrape clean. Okay, we better get to pouring. It's thickening up. Okay. So from what I've seen, we just go back and forth. All right, now I'm gonna have to scrape my bucket. Then we'll scrape out our green and yellow. A 
we'll do the ever famous infinity swirl. I really hope we don't get soda ash on here. Wait just a second and we'll cut the soap. Two days later, let's see if I managed to be successful at this brand new pour. Ooh, I'm gonna let it sit for a little while because it is quite soft still. First, let us cut off our ledge. Then we'll really get into our soap. Ooh, looking nice. You can see my, my orange or pink or whatever it was originally. I forgot to stir it before adding it into here and you can tell because it kind of got chunky. And I meant to stir it, but I did not. Oh well. My soap is actually still pretty soft because I did add a little more water than usual. Oh, look at that. It kind of looks like a sunset. Here's our fields and here's our sky. Very pretty. Happy with that, big time. So pretty. Well, I have a few spring facts to share with you since today, March 20th, 2021, is the first day of spring, which is also called the vernal equinox. And today has an equal amount of daylight and darkness. Oh, how pretty. This turned out great. The term vernal is Latin for spring and equinox is Latin for equal night. Wow. Wonderful. Back in the 14th century, they first started calling vernal equinox springing time in reference to plants springing up from the ground. When it's spring in the Northern Hemisphere, it is autumn in the Southern Hemisphere. And believe it or not, I was oblivious to that fact until like five years ago. If I learned that in school, I totally forgot it. Never even thought about it because I've never been anywhere else. And the reason why the equinoxes and the solstices don't always happen on the same day is that the earth doesn't circle the sun in exactly 365 days. The first spring flowers are typically dandelions, daffodils, lilies, lilacs, irises, and tulips. For the Japanese, the opening of the cherry blossoms, which are actually Japan's national flower, signals the start of spring. And this will be our final cut. Here we are back in front of my bookcase. Here's a couple days later. Everything looks good, smells great. We did our side stamp here. Kind of hard to see. If you don't know what Love Spell smells like, it is a lush, orangey, peachy, cherry blossomy, white jasmine fragrance. That's what I looked up. Lush is a good word for this, a lush fruity deliciousness. So if you've watched this far in the video, then my suggestion to you is to check out everybody else's collaboration and see how their one pot wonder turned out. I'm very excited about the result of my first attempt at the one pot wonder. And once again, I don't ask this very often, except for twice in this video, if you enjoyed it, I would love if you subscribed and came to visit me more than this video. 
Have a one pot wonderful day.